If you're working in audio production, it's important that you can identify each type of cable connector so that you can choose the right cable in any given situation. By the end of this video, you'll know each connector type and its common uses. But if you're new to this channel, my name is Kyle. You can learn audio production online by checking out the weekly videos I post to the Audio University YouTube channel. Learn more at audiouniversityonline.com. Let's start with an XLR connector. XLR cables, sometimes called microphone cables, consist of three wires, a positive signal wire, a negative signal wire, and a shield. XLR cables are most commonly used to make a balanced connection between two devices. A balanced connection is a method that helps to prevent noise from entering a signal. XLR connectors are the standard in professional audio for carrying microphone level or line level signals. You'll find them on microphones, amplifiers, mixers, and many other types of pro audio equipment. Now let's talk about quarter inch connectors. There are a few different types. The type of signal that a quarter inch connector can transmit will be determined by the amount of connection points on the connector itself and the amount of connection points on the cable that's being used. A quarter inch TS connector consists of two parts, a tip and a sleeve. The most common use for a quarter inch TS connector is an instrument cable or a speaker cable. Although these cables look identical from the outside, the main difference is the type of cable that's being used. You can learn more by watching this video. A quarter inch TRS connector contains three sections, a tip, ring, and a sleeve. This allows for three connections between the devices. Quarter inch TRS connectors are most commonly used for a stereo connection or a balanced line level connection. A TRS can only facilitate up to a single channel of balanced audio. When a TRS connector is used for stereo, such as the left and right channel of headphones, two unbalanced signals are carried over the single TRS connector. The same principles that apply to quarter inch connectors also apply to eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter connectors. The number of channels and the type of signal that can be carried by a connector is determined by how many connection points are on the connector and the type of cable that's being used. A 3.5 millimeter TS connector contains two sections, a tip and a sleeve. They're not very common, but you'll sometimes see them on consumer microphones. A 3.5 millimeter TRS connector contains three sections, a tip, a ring, and a sleeve. Although a TRS connector could, in theory, facilitate a balanced connection, in most cases, a 3.5 millimeter TRS is used for a stereo signal. They're often found on headphones, auxiliary inputs, and line outputs from consumer devices. It's really important to understand that a stereo TRS, carrying a left signal and a right signal, is always an unbalanced connection. So even if you have a 3.5 millimeter to XLR adapter, that adapter is limited by the 3.5 millimeter TRS, which can only facilitate an unbalanced set of stereo signals. And finally, you may encounter a 3.5 millimeter TRRS, which contains a tip, two rings, and a sleeve. 3.5 millimeter TRRS connectors are usually used for headphones with a microphone input. The left, the right output channel, plus the microphone all share the same reference to ground. There are a few different standards for the pinout of 3.5 millimeter TRRS connectors. That means that the left and right channel and microphone channel won't always be sent over the same pin. So you may need an adapter for using a DSLR camera that you wouldn't need for using a smartphone or vice versa. Let's move on to RCA connectors. Although RCA connectors are most commonly used in consumer audio, you will sometimes encounter them in professional audio. RCA connectors contain a pin and a sleeve, and they're usually paired together in sets of a white and red connector for the left signal and the right signal. This allows them to carry stereo unbalanced signals. RCAs are most often found in consumer audio and home theater equipment, but you will occasionally see them in an audio mixer. Be aware that there are different voltage level standards for consumer and professional equipment. You can learn more by watching this video. 
Another common type of connector in professional audio is a Phoenix connector or a Euroblock. These are usually custom made for each type of equipment you're using, and they usually contain three pins for balanced connections, a positive, a negative, and a ground. You'll usually encounter a Phoenix or Euroblock connector on an audio DSP or an amplifier or some other device that's being installed in a rack. You can fit a lot more inputs and outputs using Phoenix connectors than you could using, say, XLR connectors. However, XLR and quarter inch connectors are much more rugged than Euroblock and Phoenix connectors. And because of that, you'll rarely see Euroblock and Phoenix connectors being used in situations where the connections will be connected and disconnected regularly. You may also encounter speak on connectors for connecting amplifiers to speakers. There are three basic types. NL2, NL4, and NL8. Speak-on connectors are used for speaker circuits, and a speaker circuit requires two pins per circuit. An NL2 contains two pins, so it can facilitate one speaker circuit. An NL4 contains four pins, so it can facilitate two speaker circuits. And an NL8 contains eight pins for four speaker circuits. There are many more audio connectors out there. For a more complete list, check out the full post at audiouniversityonline.com slash audio connectors. If you got value out of this video, hit the like button and check out the next video that's coming up to learn more about audio production.